Hello Aquarius and welcome to your September reading. I hope that you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to thank all of you for uh, returning to this community, for spending your time with me, for your beautiful comments and your likes. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Each month I do the videos in the order of most liked and all of the decks are listed in the description box below. What else do we have here? Um, so yeah, let's just get into your reading. I'm gonna call in the energies. So I call in the divine with love and light. And I call in the archangels at the four corners of the world and the six elements of earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us for this reading for my beautiful Aquarians. And if you're cross-watching, the messages may actually be for you. And as always, never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Please use your own highest intuition and guidance. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's look at um, some Oracle cards. I'm using this beautiful crystal deck and we will get you some crystal messages. And we got a jumper, so we'll take it. We got a tourmaline with inner peace. This is beautiful, and it's coming out under the element of water. You are the water bearer, so tapping into your emotions, your feelings, uh, coming into a beautiful place of solace and comfort and inner peace is what spirit has for you this month. Let's see what we get with that. Okay, so Aquarius, we get this beautiful temple here of tourmaline. So some of you may really like that stone. Um, this is like the watermelon tourmaline. So it's like pink and blue, really etheric, really beautiful. And I feel like this is Spirit's way of telling you this month, like this is your inner temple. This is the place that you can come to, that you can align with, um, that you can center yourself in throughout the month that is very calm, soothing, and peaceful. So beautiful. Um, and I know that pink and uh, blue tourmaline is very healing to the body, to the heart, to the mind, all of that. So with that, we get evolution with her to write. And you can see that this is sort of um, the human that's evolving into an angelic consciousness and frequency. And this comes out under the element of storm. So whenever I see the storm, it's like earth, air, fire, and water are all coming together to create perfect condition for evolution, for change, for growth, uh, for some kind of revelation, aha moment, really beautiful uh, consciousness that's coming in for you this month. And I feel you're finding that through this place, this inner temple, there may be a specific place that you're going to this month. And this place brings you a lot of peace. And, and in that space, you really um, are leveling up. You're receiving a lot of information from spirit. You're connecting upwards through your upper chakras. Uh, and you I just feel light as air. So like your element uh, and with the lightning, it's like there's just flashes of enlightenment that are uh, happening for you this month and we get shungite with structure so um, here's the energy of Virgo season with the earth energy and shungite is very purifying detoxing detoxifying it helps to repel negative energy whether it's like you know uh, energies in the collective or a lot of like electricity because I'm seeing like this electricity here. So if it's stuff that's like less natural, like computers, and um, if you live in a more densely populated area, uh, it's all of the electromagnetic frequencies that Shungite helps to protect you from. It creates like a barrier. Um, so this is really beautiful. Some of you may want to look into Shungite water or just like buying a piece of Shungite and like keeping it close to you, keeping it in your pocket, wearing it on you, you know, whatever that looks like. It's very, very helpful. Uh, just, you know, make sure it's from a reputable source. And we're also seeing kind of the stars there. So it is sort of like the void of the cosmos and it's very silent, very quiet, very peaceful. So I'm feeling like there's something Aquarius is um, finding, looking for and finding inner peace this month. Uh, maybe it's around the structures of your life. You're looking to create more uh, structure in your life where there is room for more peace, room for more flow, uh, just a sanctuary, a place where you feel that you can evolve your own consciousness 
and um, your health, like, you know, the health of, of your body, mind, and soul. And I want to show you at the bottom of the deck is just the element of wind. Like, it's so simple. It's so beautiful. Very, very etheric. You can see that. So your own element of air or wind is coming out for you, like, as an underlying energy of your reading. And I can tell you that the planet Mars has moved into Gemini and will be there for the next seven months. So uh, Mars is like, you know, the planet of doing and action and all of that. And it's in an air sign. So I feel like your own element is very important for you. This is a lot of communication. It's movement. Wind can also be very clearing to your energy field. So I'm feeling like, yes, getting outside, connecting with your own element, getting a lot of fresh air is going to be very helpful for you, especially as we move into a new season, right? So let's look at your tarot um, and then we'll pull some more Oracle and we're going to clarify all of the tarot today. So I'm using the vice versa deck and these actually have two sides. So you can see that. Um, all right. So thank you to the guides. Thank you, angels. Show me Aquarius for September. Okay, we did get a jumper, so we're going to look at that. So we get the two of pentacles here. Beautiful. And we get the ten of pentacles. Amazing, Aquarius. I feel like uh, inside of your family, your work life, uh, things in the physical world, you are balancing a lot. And that may be where uh, this temple of inner peace comes in for you and uh, kind of around the structures of your life. And nice, we get the six of wands here. I feel like you're going to have a busy month. Um, you're definitely going to be seen by a lot of people. You may be, some of you may be uh, like performers here is what uh, one of the things that I'm seeing. Like you're sho showcasing your gifts. Um, this month you're going to be called to share with people. You're going to be like seen by a lot of people because that's also the six of wands card of Leo here where, you know, there's victory. Um, you're, you're being recognized. There's like high accolades. So if some of you Aquarians are being called to like actually showcase something, you've got a project that you've worked on, um, even just inside of your relationships, because I feel like you're balancing a lot, you're doing a lot, you're busy. Ten of Pentacles is about family and community, um, the structures of your life. He almost reminds me of the emperor. Uh, it's showing even just being recognized for your efforts this month by people. And here we have the Knight of Cups. So this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, could be dealing with the Pisces here. I'm seeing Leo and Pisces. And the Ten of Cups. Wow, Aquarius. So you're getting the Ten Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Uh, so there's definitely like something around love and relationship, family, community. And I want to show you what popped out, and that's the Seven of Cups. So it's the light side of the Seven of Cups. Um, and this is where, you know, it's about your dreams, choices, options. And the Seven of Cups is where sometimes, you know, we can be a bit confused about our choices. Like there's almost like an energy of not really knowing uh, which cup to choose from, which dream to pursue. But here it's like you're receiving messages from a guide, your highest self here. Um, the right cup is being shown to you. So there's an illumination. There's like an aha moment. There's uh, an evolution really is what I'm seeing. It's part of that evolution. Uh, there's like a freedom that's coming in for you. So I'm, I'm just seeing like a really beautiful energy for you where yes, you're balancing a lot this month. You have a lot at stake. You've really been working very hard. Um, and I feel like you've been doing a really good job at it. And you may feel like all eyes are on you. People are watching. People are looking towards you um, to kind of like hold down the fort. You know, uh, you're, you're really in charge of a lot of things here. You have great responsibility is something that I'm seeing. Um, and you're definitely going to be receiving a reward, high accolades, like people are cheering you on, they see you. And I think it feels really good for your sense of self. Like there's something about your sense of self that's um, being highlighted here. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, 
this is really beautiful. I, I, it's like your heart space is really on and there's beautiful partnership here. Love everlasting, love that's reciprocated. Um, I'm feeling like you might be a bit romantic this month. You may be feeling romantic this month. And it's sort of like a balance between what you have going on in the physical world, what your duties and responsibilities are. You know, even if, let's say you're retired, you, you may still have a lot to manage, whether it's around your grandchildren and, you know, just the home and the place that you live or external things with family. Um, you know, all of those day-to-day -day things, uh, or if you're a student, you know, and maybe you're just a full-time student, you're still managing a lot of things. Um, I'm also seeing where, you know, so anyway, you're, you're balancing a lot of these things, but I feel that this month, part of the inner peace and the evolution for you is taking time uh, to connect with love, romance, creativity, um, you know, the rainbow there, that, that it's equally as important as doing stuff in the day to day. It's equally as important as your sense of obligation and responsibility and all of that. Pursuing the things that you love, you know, um, the seven of cups asks us, is it a dream worth pursuing? And the knight of cups knows what dream is worth pursuing. He's Piscean, so he's very romantic. Even, you know, can sometimes wear rose colored glasses because he is that romantic. So there's almost this sense of romance that's with you. Um, chivalry, I want to say, if you are um, watching for an Aquarius, like your fellow Aquarius, maybe a bit extra romantic with you this month. You're wanting to take time uh, inside of this temple and perhaps it's with someone else, the people that you love, the person that you love. This is where you're finding a lot of healing, a lot of inner peace. And it's actually like, I think you're being guided in the right place because it really is part of this evolution for you. Um, and for some of you, maybe the reverse is true. You know, maybe you're naturally more inclined to um, to be more connected to your relationships. And this month you're finding where maybe you want to, you know, uh, focus a bit more on, uh, your pentacles and, uh, your business, your money, your wealth, and all of that. Uh, and the six of cups is sitting right there at the heart. So another message is that you, you know, you allow yourself to get out there and be seen and uh, attend to the things and put your best clothes on and, you know, feel good, look good, all of that. So when you put yourself out there in whatever way, shape or form this month, you're going to be really well received. If you're single Aquarius, I feel like this is where you're going to be attracting somebody, you know, or multiple people, multiple suitors coming for you, Aquarius, you know, this sort of fiery night and uh and this more romantic knight of cups like i i think you're really going to be attracting a lot of attention this month all, like i was feeling all eyes are on you because you can see here he's kind of performing and these people are all watching him from up on this balcony um so there's also a lightness about you right now like this month i feel that's why the evolution's coming in with the uh the human that gets his wings uh because there's a lightness about you where it's um it's not so serious you know it's a bit lighter this month the energy feels light for you so and that's also the wind like you know being able to um just to have that movement the way that that air moves and circulates across the globe is just to have that movement so and i'm sorry about the noise the air just came on but um Anyway, so let's get you some oracle cards and then we'll move into, um, we'll clarify all of the tarot. So let's get you some oracle cards. So thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Please help me to guide Aquarius for September 2022. Okay, so we got some jumpers. We may as well just take them. So we're getting the Lady of the Lake here, beautiful. Uh, and this is about self-knowledge, the other world, the goddess, and the mystery. And the Lady of the Lake is Vivane from the Arthurian legends. Um, she actually worked with the fairy, the fairy kingdom, with the fae, uh, the she of the fae. They were like the lords and ladies of the fae. And they fashioned Excalibur together. Uh, and then they handed it to Arthur. So. Um, Excalibur is that uh, a sword of truth. It's for the most noble of knights. And I'm feeling like this is an accomplishment. This is some type of an accomplishment um, that this, this figure is like coming out to hand you this sword. 
and yeah, we're seeing the knight there. This is like the knight in shining armor with Camelot. So honor and trust and aspiration and ideals. So I think there really is this part of you that is uh, chasing some kind of a dream, pursuing some kind of a dream. It's something that, um, it's like a, a truth that's come to you, a truth that's being revealed to you about a specific dream that you wanna pursue, how you wanna move that forward. It feels like it's the honorable thing to do for yourself, really. And here we're seeing the Lady of, um, the Lady of Shallot. So this is an interesting story because I, I really feel uh, for some of you, maybe this is you coming out of your shell, uh, where in the Seven of Cups, like thinking about what it is that we're dreaming about, what do we want to pursue? Uh, where is our heart guiding us? Maybe for some of you, you've been on the fence about something in your life, like do I go for it or not? You know, um, and it's almost like a, a lady in waiting. And I feel like this is the month where you're not going to be that lady or uh, lord in waiting anymore because this can talk about illusion and victimhood um, and like just kind of waiting. You see that? Like she's got a scroll in her hand as if someone sent her a letter uh, or she's sending someone a letter, but she's just holding on to it. And instead she's taking a nap. It's almost being overwhelmed by her feelings, overwhelmed by, you know, her dreams where they almost feel overwhelming. So I feel this month, that's why you're being handed this sword um, for protection, for courage, um, for valor, to go out in search of your dream. And that's why the Knight of Cups is coming out for you because it's really, yes, the 10 pentacles are important, right? The 10 pentacles are important, stability and wealth and, um, you know, and building solid foundations. But it's also important, uh, the this happiness and reciprocated love, higher love. So the higher love being very important. And that's why these two tens are coming out because it's really about the balance of these two. So I feel like um, you may be making a decision to like really do something this month, to put your best foot forward, you know, to go for some dream, um, to start, you know, um, to start moving closer towards that, whatever it is. So let's clarify the tarot and see what we have for these cards. Let me just move these over. I hope this is resonating for you so far. Okay. For some Aquarians, uh, maybe this is you kind of thinking about you know, someone else that's been on your mind. Um, there may be someone in your life who is very committed to their work. They have family commitments, work commitments, and they haven't been able to spend a lot of quality time with you. They haven't been able to really commit to the relationship as much as you would like them to. And I feel that this is the month where they're getting some kind of um, almost like a wake up call. Like they're having the wake up call. Perhaps they're taking some time for themselves with that um, inner peace kind of temple. And they're having an evolution and uh, they may be coming towards you, you know, as this knight of cups here uh for union for some romance so if your partner has been rather um bogged down with responsibility and work this may be the month where they're deciding you know to that their life is kind of imbalanced maybe you're having a conversation with them about this so that's a message for some of you all right so let's clarify these so Okay, with the two of pentacles, we get justice. Yeah, something needs to be balanced. So this is the two of pentacles. He is balancing a lot and like he can do it. You know, he can he can balance this. He's light on his feet. He's strong enough to do it. I feel like, you know, you can see on this side, he really has the enthusiasm to do it. He looks very happy here. Um, but there's still something that, that is requiring balance. And um, and for things to be right and for things to be fair and equal is something that I'm seeing. So I'm seeing Libra energy with the 10 of pentacles. We get the tower. Yeah. So this is kind of that. I was feeling like there may be some kind of, whether it's divine intervention, uh, a change, some kind of sudden change that comes in this month. Um, it's happening so that things can become more balanced. And this may be things inside of the workplace or at home, 
Um, again, I was feeling the energy of another person here. So it may be somebody like very close to you. You'll know who this person is. That's kind of getting a wake up call, whether it's around their money, whether it's around just being overly committed to work, um, really too focused on one thing where there isn't a whole lot of inner peace. There may, it may feel a bit unstable for them or even for you. This could be the company that you work for even. Okay. Six of, um, with the six of wands, interesting, we're getting uh, the six of pentacles. So the sixes are also about balance. So there's just definitely a nod to balance for you this month. Things coming back into balance. Um, I feel that you're a person you really give out a lot. You know, you really put your best foot forward. You're always trying to help other people. You really show up in a way where if somebody needs something, they know they can count on you. You can call them or they can call you or text you and you'll answer and you'll be there. And I'm sort of, one, and, and that kind of makes you the hero. <laughs> so that's something that I'm seeing um, because the six of wands, he is so celebrated. He's celebrated by everybody. They're having a parade for him. And I feel that that's because of your, your naturally giving nature you really do want to give to people and there may be where Aquarius is like okay something needs to get balanced here this month um, wake up call for people that um, Aquarius needs to take more time for um, his or her own peace um, and also to allow other people to evolve as well you know just in the same way that you have um, they need to evolve as well so things coming into balance this month also for some of you if you have been Maybe your efforts haven't been, you're wondering if they've been seen. You're not maybe getting the recognition that you feel you would like. Um, I feel that this month, it's like something's coming into balance around that. Somebody's getting a wake up call. There's some type of divine intervention that it's like, hey, people, wake up. Take a look at Aquarius, like see everything that Aquarius does. It's time to celebrate Aquarius. It's time to give them the recognition that they deserve, which is so interesting. Okay, so with the Knight of Cups, we get the star and there's your card coming out. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you, this is your key here. This is your key. You may have strong Piscean placements or you're dealing with the Pisces. Um, so this is beautiful, Aquarius. This is your highest self coming in. It's your North Star and your North Star, your highest self is saying, Aquarius, get out there and pursue a dream. Um, do things that light your heart up, that make your heart happy. Do the things that make your heart feel good. Enjoy yourself. Be romantic. Um, go on the dates. Take yourself out on the date. Buy yourself tickets to that concert. Um, go to your favorite restaurant. Like, Whatever it is, have a picnic in the park, a picnic on the beach, you know, um, take that little vacation, like whatever it is. Um, and it could be something bigger than that. So for some of you, I'm going to say this, um, for some Aquarians here, you're meant to really, really shine. I think well, all of you are meant to shine. Um, so that's a message for all of you. You're meant to shine. You're really meant to be seen. So if you're feeling a bit, maybe there's like, this energy, whether it's like um, a lot of responsibility or duty, um, it could be a company that you work for, a boss, uh, somebody who's a bit more controlling or whatever, and you're trying to balance that with your passions and your dreams. Um, this is where you're destined to be seen. You're destined for fame even. So whether it's uh, whatever field you're in, there's something about fame here. When the six of wands and the star come out together, this is that famous energy. So this is something that um, you are destined for. Your higher self wants you to get out there, really, really get out there. You're the star, right? Um, and it's also about being in your most authentic, authentic, authentic place because she's naked. So she's, she's real. She's her true self. She's authentic. Um, she's pouring the vessels out because she doesn't need to hoard anything. She's not worried about you know, um, losing her wealth or losing her status, or she's not worried about like anything false, um, you know, being anything ta being taken away from her because she knows that in her most pure state, uh, she has everything that she needs. So she can pour all the water out because um, she knows that uh, she's going to be replenished from the universe. So the tower and the star are in perfect progression here right? 
from the 16 to the 17. And in the middle of that is the Six of Pentacles. So it's showing just how important balance is for you, equal giving and receiving. Um, for many of you, these are just like things that you do in your daily life, you know, the Six of Pentacles. Um, and justice, this is the justice that you deserve. You know, this is the balance in your life that, um, that I feel like consciously or subconsciously you're seeking. Uh, many of you are really destined for greatness, for, for fame, for uh, a lot of recognition within your field, within your craft, within your vocation, whatever it is, you're really destined for greatness. So with the Ten of Cups, we get the Two of Swords, and this is a crossroads. It's a choice point for you, you know? So this is a choice point, and I think we're going to clarify that Two of Swords. Yes, with the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So it's really like choosing timelines. It's um, which way do you want to go? Uh, there is this opportunity. There's um, a doorway. There's a gateway towards this very, very solid offer. So you may have an offer that's coming to you this month and you're deciding whether or not to take it. It's a new energy. It's a solid, it's a solid offer. Do you want to take it or not? Hmm. Yeah. So, and it's in divine timing here with the angel of temperance coming out. It is in divine timing, but you may have mixed emotions about it. If it's about a relationship, yeah, you may have mixed emotions about it. Um, you know, it's something that's coming from the divine, but it's requiring you to do a little bit of soul searching of soul work. Um, there may be, it's like balancing your own head and your heart. Like what does the head want versus what does the heart want? And like having them come to an agreement with each other. So, um, have patience with this. I don't feel that this is something that's so fast moving like the tower is. So this may be a wake up call for someone else or something else. And you definitely may have um, some kind of a, a big revelation or there's a, some kind of a change that comes in that's like, whoa, okay, I didn't see that coming, but hmm, this is kind of leading me into a good place. And here I feel like you get to sort of like take a moment to pause, you know, to connect in with this inner temple that we were talking about. For some of you, this may um, be an actual place that you go to and you're really gonna be like working it out from within yourself. I think it's also don't not going too far into one extreme or another this month, like take the middle path, take the middle road this month. Um, I feel like you will figure it out. And with the two of swords, it's where she can't see clearly because she's blindfolded, folded, right? So she's really using her own intuition. It's connected to the high priestess about your intuition. Uh, discernment. So I feel like you're really being very discerning here. I don't see you making like hasty decisions this month. It's not going to be where you're just like making um, very, very quick decisions, uh, you know, in the moment. I think you're really going to be pausing to consider all of these things. That's also justice. It's where like you're really looking for the facts. What is the evidence? What are the facts around this? And it, does it feel balanced? You know, does it feel right? Is it just? Is it right? Um, so if there are things that are more like contractual in nature or legal, I think, yes, read read the fine print, all of that. Really read the fine print. We have Mercury going retrograde in, um, in Virgo. So there's a lot of mercurial um, energy right now because Mars is in Gemini. Mercury is in Virgo. They're both ruled by Mercury. So there's a lot of um, kind of like thinking, right? A lot of thinking, um, Gemini and Mercury, it rules the mind. So I feel like that's also why um, we see the air element at the bottom of your deck here because you may be doing a lot of thinking. And so because of that, that's why your inner peace is so important. And for some of you, it's even like just allowing yourself to have a, like a blank mind. Like it's just blank here. You know, there, there's light in, inside of this. There's light inside of this. Um, but it's like where you, you're, you're um, getting yourself into a place where, you know, you can just think for yourself and you can do the inner work and you can kind of like figure it out uh, because you're going to. But whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, I feel like it holds the potential for the whole suit of cups. And that's you know, that's love. It's higher love. It's feelings of, of real, true happiness. 
Um, and, and for many of you, it's around love and relationship and love that's reciprocated where you love that person, they love you. It's very equal, it's healthy. This is healthy love, it's higher love. And with temperance, it's divinely guided, it's blessed. You know, it's divine timing. So this isn't divine timing. So I'm, I'm thinking that another message here is uh, not to overanalyze it. You know, not to overanalyze it. Look at the facts, Aquarius. Look at the facts. Um, I feel your logical mind is important, but I also feel that your heart is uh, so, so deeply important this month. Don't forget, Aquarius, you're the water bearer. So what, you're an air sign, but you're still the water bearer. You hold all of, the, all of the memory, all of the emotion, all of the water. And this month, it's like, let it flow. Let it all flow. Um, and Spirit's really urging you to pursue this dream. This Knight of Cups could represent somebody else, and they're really in pursuit of you. It's someone that is coming to you with an offer, with a lot of promises, and some of you are really on the fence about this. You really are. Perhaps it's one of those relationships where, you know, um, each of you holds a, a sort of a part of each other's shadow. So they're like a golden mirror. They're a divine mirror. And you know, you hold up a mirror to their own shadow. They hold up a mirror to your own shadow. And together you do a lot of soul work. You actually help each other to heal, um, you know, some things. Because um, I'm not seeing like the death card or the devil or, you know, anything that's um, showing me that this may be a truly toxic situation. I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing where there's something that feels a bit out of balance for you. And, um... And I, I feel like this month, the balance is coming in and you really are being guided to follow a dream really and truly. So, all right, Aquarius, let's get you a couple of Oracle cards. Um, and I think I will put uh, the Lady of the Lake, pardon me, and Camelot over here. It's like this kingdom awaits. That's what they're telling me. It's like there's a kingdom that is awaiting you and, uh, and don't sleep on your dreams. Do not sleep on your dreams. And maybe this is a message for the person that's most on your mind. For some of you, could be someone close to you. And, you know, and you're really feeling that way about them. Like, don't sleep on your dreams. Like, let's do it. Or, you know, you're really hoping that they evolve with you. You're hoping that you can build something really solid and long lasting together. So let's get you a couple more Oracle cards. Okay, so this is Alice the Wonderland. Uh, no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Okay, Aquarius. So if it's fear that's holding you back um, or self-doubt, if it's anything around yourself, they're telling you there is no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. I'm just going to put that there. All right. And we have do not drink poison. So that's a message. Do not do things that you know are bad for you. So that's a message for some of you. If there is somebody or something in your life that feels very toxic, um, you don't have to go back to it. I feel like you have other opportunity. I feel that this is a time to pursue your dreams. I feel that this is a time for your evolution. So that's an important message for some of you. It goes back to your own health and well-being, your own inner peace. And maybe that's sort of like your indication this month about um, decisions that you're making. You know, again, is it a dream worth pursuing? Is it a person worth pursuing? Is it a friendship worth pursuing? You know, can I evolve inside of this situation? Is if it feels healthy for you, is it balanced or is it imbalanced? You know, is it healthy for you or is it not healthy for you? So, and that's a number eight. Um, and those go back to lessons. So perhaps this is like some kind of a lesson, you know, that you're teaching this other person, you're teaching each other or this situation. It could be around your work 100%. And for some of you, maybe um, with the Shungai card, a structure, perhaps it's like dietary, you know, something like that. Maybe you're someone like there's one specific um, thing in your diet that you know is not good for you, but like you really, really love it. So maybe, um, you know, it's about um, 
becoming more moderate with those things uh, because this is about moderation here. So it also teaches us moderation. Um, so that's a message for some of you is just like really looking at, you know, your diet and things like that. And, and if there is one thing that you're like, oh my God, I just can't give that thing up and I know it's bad for me, you know, then uh, use it moderately. So that's a message that they're giving me. And let's clarify the tarot um, on top of the tarot. So we're using our Arthurian, the Arthurian tarot. This is legend, the Arthurian tarot. These are actually out of print. Um, they're really hard to find. And I found them, um, I found them at a resale store here in Sedona and they were literally like new. So I'm so happy that I found them. I just like, look at how beautiful that is. So, all right, let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. So thank you, Spirit. Please show me Aquarius. Let's get deeper into this. Please show me Aquarius. Okay. Oh, they're upside down. So we get the Eight of Shields, and this is Wayland. Um, and this is kind of what I was talking about, about some things like being lessons. But I do see that, like, you know, you're really hard at work here. You're very committed to, to the things in your life that are important to you. You know, you're willing to really put in the work. Um, you're a hard worker. You know, you show up. You do it diligently. You, you know, some of you even burn the midnight oil. So I'm feeling that's why you may need to. Um, I'm just sensing this is some kind of like a sabbatical. This is a very special place. You know what this place is. And spirit saying in September to spend some time there. Okay, because I see that you have been very hard at work. And we get the chariot. Okay, so this is beautiful. Like I was saying, um, inside of whatever this divine intervention or revelation is, aha moment, um, it's a crown chakra. It's like, yes, okay, now I know. There's like a knowing. This is what drives the energy forward. Uh, this is Cancerian and Sagittarian, number seven. So it goes back to that seven of cups about, is it a dream worth pursuing? And this is where your head and your heart they do come on board together. They agree. You move forward towards victory, towards success. So this is beautiful. Whatever kind of happens this month that may feel like, whoa, that happened faster. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. Know that it's something that's helping to move things forward for you to win a battle even because that says the battle of Mount Baden or Baden. Okay. And then we get the two of shields. So two of pentacles. Here's that two of pentacles again. Um, six of wands, six of pentacles, um, with the two of shields. So again, it's like, I just feel like, are you balancing like two different jobs or, um, you know, your work life and your relationships? Like, it just feels like you're really, you're balancing a lot. Um, you can see where these two figures are meeting on a bridge and it says castle Pendragon. So there may be, it's like, um, two people crossing a bridge, uh, but meeting each other in the center to have a conversation about something. So something about uh, compromise, something about meeting somebody halfway, um, coming together to talk about it, you know, and that's going to help to like um, get this situation balanced or uh, to make perhaps both of you feel like you're both being seen, you're both being heard, your efforts are both being recognize something about recognition. Um, so interesting with the Knight of Cups and the star card, we're getting the five of shields with the wasteland. So, um, Aquarius, you're going to know what's not growing. You really are. You're going to know like where your path is not illuminated. Sometimes we have to figure out like what's not working, what we don't want in order to really find the direction. It, you know, in order to have that kind of like connection to our highest self, sometimes we have to, it's like a process of elimination. You know what I mean? So um, this is where there's no lack. Like I said, she's pouring out the vessels because she doesn't, she's not worried about needing that water. She knows she's going to be replenished. She can be her most authentic self. She can uh, be vulnerable. She can spill it. She can put her cards out on the table. And here's where there is lack and there is a shielding because there's a perceived lack. There's a perception of 
whether it's like abandonment, you know, being abandoned because we show our true colors, we show our, who we really are. Um, and, and it's almost like, um, I don't know, like some kind of, um, a wounding from childhood, you know, where we don't feel worthy and you are so worthy here. That's why you have the Knight of Cups. Who's like the knight in shining armor. I really do feel that that's you. Um, and you're sort of really seeing yourself from, from this higher vantage point, this higher perspective where um, you have, there is no lack for you. There really isn't. Um, so I feel that you're really kind of like overcoming that, uh, a big portion of that this month. Uh, it's working on your own self-worth. And for some of you, it really is where you're just recognizing where there's no growth in a particular place or in a particular relationship. You know, it's always going to be like this wasteland. It won't grow. And so that's where you're able to move forward towards something else. And it doesn't mean that your whole life is unraveling. That is not the case. Um, you know, it's just like maybe per one particular area of your life. Um, so what came next? Uh, did we, I don't even know. Let's just get uh, the next card. The Three of Shields, the homespun tunic. So I think we're going to clarify that one too. So I think it was the Two of Swords with the Three of Shields. So the Three of Shields is, you know, connected to the Empress in, inside of the Threes. Usually we see like uh, different people working together. Here it's just her. And she's working diligently on something. It's handmade. It's homemade. So some of you have like a small business. Maybe you're thinking you already have a small business um, or you're thinking of really launching your small business. There's something that you're really good at with this eight of pentacles, um, eight of shields, three of shields. It's like you are really, really good at this thing. You have really mastered it. Um, and so it's something that's so close to your heart. Like every, every time that you um, put your hands to it or, or you work on this particular creation, it has like a piece of your soul in it. It carries all of your love in it. And it's important and spirits acknowledging it that this is actually from the three, this is where you leverage into the 10 because we do have a lot of pentacles in this reading. So I'm feeling like the work that you do, um, your worth, it's really your worth, your sense of worth. Um, you're really working on that. I feel like you really want to do, you really do want to build very solid foundations. You want to be able to give back to other people. You want to be able to take care of everybody. Um, you want to be able to provide for, if you have children, um, you, you know, all of that. Uh, there's something very specific that you are good at. I really see that. And Spirit's telling you to keep working at it. If you don't have to have other people, like you can kind of do this um, on your own, but let's see what came after that. And there's temperance again. Interesting. So, it, okay, this is something that you really love to do. This thing is gonna help leverage you into your 10 pentacles. Um, so keep doing it. And for some of you, yeah, maybe there are other people, absolutely, because the threes are about growth and manifestation and can also be about our networks. Um, this is something that, again, temperance and temperance, it's in divine timing. Have patience with it. Um, it's about moderation. And you can see here, this is a very interesting card, the Cauldron of Onwen. So what's interesting about this card is that you see the goddess here. So inside of Avalon, you see a nod to goddess worship and the old ways, the Celtic ways, some would call it the pagan ways. Um, but then you also see Jesus in the background. So it's where the two religions, if you will, the two beliefs, um, they have to come together. There's a, there's a blending of beliefs. There's a blending of religions. There's a blending of elements and, and they're very different. This is masculine. This is very feminine. The cauldron is like a giant a sort of chalice where they're making magic and Jesus or Yeshua is in the background, like the new religion, if you will. So there's something about, um, I was feeling inside of a relationship or some area of your life where there's uh, differing beliefs, different cultures, different ages, whatever. And I feel that spirit's really telling you that you're being shown this because it's helping you to integrate something that's a little bit different from yourself. And the same goes for them. Um, you're integrating different polarities and maybe this is all about you. You know, um, I can relate to this. I was raised a Catholic 
And at the age of like 17, I kind of discovered the goddess and, and um, paganism and Wicca. And I had to blend these two. I had to work it out within myself because I really love Jesus. And, you know, and I have a relationship with the Christed nature and the Christed energy. But there were things I needed to work out from within that structure so that it be I could integrate it into a part of me. So I know I'm getting personal. Some people don't like that. But I can speak to you from this experience where... Um, the blending of the two has made me more divine and more whole and more well-rounded and like all of that. So yeah, you may be coming up against a polarizing force inside of your work. Um, and you may feel like some of you, like there's no growth there. There's no way to move this forward. And I think Spirit's saying to have patience with it. You may not know which direction to take this in or which direction to move in. And I feel like the main message here is um, is to go where your heart's leading you this month. So that may be in a place where you're just taking a time out. You're going to your happy place. And inside of that, you're having a lot of revelations. You're having a lot of insight. Um, I feel like this, I know that this is all a part of your evolution here. You're leveling up from within yourself. So it, it feels like a bigger month for you, honestly. Whenever the tower comes in, there's a transformation that happens and you're moving forward inside of that transformation. You're not gonna be going backwards. And if that's a fear for you is going backwards, you know, then Spirit's really telling you just to get into this place that brings you inner peace. Go where you do find the inner peace. And for some of you, yes, you're gonna know. Like if this situation is toxic, poisonous, and there, it's always going to be a wasteland, then that's where you move away from it. So that's why I always say never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. You know, please use your own highest intuition and guidance because you know you're living your life. I'm not living your life. And at the bottom was the death card. So there very well may be something that is ending, something that you are putting an end to, but it's also a shedding of old skin. It's a releasing of things that don't serve you anymore. It's Scorpio energy, so it's that transformation. Uh, and this is Gwyn Abnud and the Wild Hunt. And he sort of reminds me of the Gemini energy. You know, look at him. This is fast moving. There's the lightning. Like, there's a fleet of horses. So they're on a wild hunt. Um, hunting down your fears. Hunting down the, you know, whatever it is. The obstacles that are in the way. The resistance. And it, it, this is really beautiful. Number 13, it's the sacred feminine there. So there's something about mystery. There is a mystery to some of this. Um, and that's, I think, why the Lady of the Lake is like, come out of the lake to hand you Excalibur. Like Aquarius, here is the sword of truth. Here's your protection. Here's where you can, you know, cut through anything that is a lie and illusion is not serving you. Old attachments, old fears. And remember, you're getting Lady Justice too. And her sword, she's got the sword too. And we see the scales of balance like a bunch of times here. So, um, and also temperance is about balance. So I think the main theme is balance for, um, for Aquarius this month. So let's get you some more Oracle cards. And then we're going to end with this cute little pocket size deck. Um, so let's look at the Sacred Creators Oracle and see what we have for you. So thank you, angels. Show me Aquarius for September. Okay, the distraction of shiny things. Well, I mean, that speaks volumes. And because like your second card out was the 10 of pentacles and your first card out was the two of pentacles, you know, this may be a choice point like for you or for someone else, you know, um, is it all about the money? Is it, you know, is it all about the shiny things? Aquarius, you're so high level and um, you're able to see into the future. You know, it's forward thinking, future thinking. So you are a humanitarian. You are concerned about the future of this planet and all of the beings on it and the oceans and the animals and, you know, and nature and all of that. So I'm feeling like this may be some, something that's coming up for you 
around people in your life or organizations or structures or whatever it is you're really thinking like I don't want to be distracted by shiny things or like why is that person so hung up on money or status or you know all of that like I want to live a more simple life I, I you know I want to create something that's sustainable um it's more about you know this and yes we live in a society where we do need money to survive obviously we need um a house and we deserve to have comfort and all of those things but there's some kind of balance that wants to happen there yes aquarius do the thing that sets your soul on fire that lights up your heart that's your knight of cups that's your ten of cups this is where you're connected to your highest self with the star card. You know, do the thing that sets your soul on fire. Go to that place where you feel inner peace. Connect with your highest self. Connect with your destiny. Okay? Beautiful. I mean, I feel like we could leave it there. But um, I'm going to get you a couple of wish cards. And I'm actually, I'm going to put that right there for you. So let's use this little pocket deck called Wishcraft and get you some messages to end the reading. So thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Show me Aquarius. Okay. So Sagittarius got these two. Um, friendships, important. You may have some people that really show up this month. Your tribe, you know who they are. Beautiful. And there's like four of them here. So maybe you and three other people. It says the friendship bracelet. I am a good friend to myself and others. Yes, you are. So you know who these people are. You know, maybe you're, um, you're going to this like sacred place together, taking a sabbatical with some of your friends. And here we see the rock cairns on the beach, and these are always about balance. And this is about your connection to the mineral kingdom, magical rocks. I am grounded and creative. So your crystals, um, just the rocks, like, you know, out in nature, um, go and sit on a rock or bring a rock home or put a rock in your pocket during the day. Um, it's going to help you to feel grounded and help your creative juices get um, kind of flowing. And let's get you one more. Okay, so they wanted you to have two more. So here's like a new moon here, and this is beautiful, some stargazing. Send a letter to the universe, the world loves me. Beautiful, um, so send a letter to the universe is a message for you. You could write a letter to the universe, I love that idea. Up oh, and there's the star card, and there's the castle. I mean, you cannot make that up. There's kind of the house up on the hill. There's the star, she's holding the star up, and there's the castle. It says, build a fairy house. There is magic everywhere. So we will close with that message. My beautiful Aquarians, you always have a magical reading. You are so full of magic. You are so full of light. So wish upon the stars this month, okay? Never stop dreaming. Never stop wishing. You are beautiful. You deserve so many beautiful blessings and more. I love you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful month ahead. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always here. Take good care, and I will talk to you all soon. Namaste.